Oi, ma ayo ka ayo. This is a video I've wanted to make for a long time. In the Philippines, there is a saying, rice is life. So today, we've come to the source. Have you ever harvested rice before? No, but today I want to try how to harvest rice. <laughs> and then, we're gonna go fishing, cook a meal with our new rice and our new fish. We're lost. We're lost? No, we're not. Are we lost? We're passing by, but I you know we need to go back. Are you sure? I think we should go that way. Go there and then we will see and then come back again. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I lost the bet. <laughs> We're going back. Yeah. Alright, let's go meet Ryan, our our host for the day. Come <laughs> star. You can see the chocolate hills in the distance. This is the town where you have the chocolate hills and you can do the chocolate hills tour. Everyone does that. Not everyone does this. I'm bringing you on a, a special journey in Carmen. Carmen Bahol. What's that? <laughs> Baby girl. This is awesome. Finally, we are here in our place, in my place. <laughs> How many hours from Panglao to there? About two, maybe. Two? Two hours, yeah. Two hours, yeah. Yeah, two hour drive. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jonathan, by the way. So your name is Ryan? We're done. Ryan? Yeah, right, yeah. Okay, I'm Jonathan. Uh, Jonathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, Ryan. Me <laughs> Th too. Thank you for letting us come here and uh, and see the, the rice harvesting process. Are you you're harvesting today? Yeah, we have our uh, little farm there. My my uh, my father to get, uh, getting sample for cut the rice. Okay, awesome. Oh, this is beautiful. It's so <laughs> green. I love it. Yeah. You stay here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll stay here. You can drop me off. <laughs> you stay here and I go back home. <laughs> okay, you go back to Phong Lao. Oh. Yeah, I could definitely live here. It's oh, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> you can always translate. They can always translate it. He can translate, not me. <laughs> and I'm not good in English. <laughs> also with me, I'm not good in English. <laughs> no. Uh, but uh, I understand uh, a little bit. Your English is great. It's much better than my Bisaya. <laughs> so we'll stick with English. <laughs> English, Visaya, it's not the same. I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, first. First get the, the fish, tilapia. Okay, first we get the fish and then we do the rice. Okay. Oh. okay. What, whatever you want. It's... <laughs> Go my home first. I'm in the house of my mother. Okay. Oh, perfect. This is a, a hairy the, goat. The surrounding. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is beautiful. I love these properties. We've had... Oh wow. Chicken for fighting? You want to fight the chicken? I don't want to fight a chicken. <laughs> no, I'm good. Ayo. Come on, stop. Come on, stop, Paul. Minutes, not sure. No, no, no. Ten minutes to walk. Okay. It's okay? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, perfectly fine. <laughs> All right. Salamat ka Ayo for <laughs> letting us here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go fishing first. So we've got a few houses on the property here. A lot of roosters and chickens. And of course, goats, which are the best. So, uh, is this all your property? No, this only. Over there? This is my uh, cousin. Your cousin lives here? Only a cousin all. Okay, these are your cousins. Can you rent a house here? I would love to live here. This is, as you've seen, if you saw Anne's property, we have two videos on Anne's property. These are my favorite places around. The Philippines, Bohol. People go to, to Pang Lao and Alona Beach, and that's the, the tourist area, but that's, that's not why I love Bohol or the Philippines. It's this, these places, and especially these baby goats. Those are the best. Whenever I arrive at one of these, these properties, I'm just more relaxed instantly. But it was about a two, like you said, like we said, about a two hour drive up here today. 10 minutes, let's go fishing. <laughs> we need to catch a fish in 10 minutes. How many fish do we want to catch? Huh? 
How many fish do we want to catch? Uh, depends. If you like it, okay. More, more, more fish. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you enjoy fishing. Here we have all of this rice. Here, see all of the fields off in the distance. I mean, I mean, by later after harvesting rice, we can ride the carabao. Really? Do you carabao. have car? You have carabao? Yeah, we have carabao. My father. We can ride? Yeah, but only the only the cart, not in the uh, not in the carabao. Only the cart. We have like cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why we can sit. Why not in the carabao? Why only in the cart? Small, small carabao. Maybe uh. maybe run in the carabao. Okay. <laughs> um, maybe panic with you. <laughs> okay, okay. I can ride in the cart. <laughs> okay, I, I am the driver. Do you have other vegetables on your property? Only rice. Rice? Yeah. And then do you do you sell the rice? Sell? Yeah. Uh, if you have no money, so you can sell sometimes only one sack like that. Okay. Uh, if you have no money, uh, you can sell one sack. How much per sack? Uh, maybe 500 like that. 500 pesos per yeah, sack? Yeah. How many kilos? 40. 40 kilos? Yeah. 500 pesos. Mm. And oh. do you... Oh, aubergine. Eggplant. Yeah, eggplant. We have arrived. Can you try this one? Yeah, awesome. It's great having a, a camera woman. I never have one. You want to fish? No. You want to go first? No, you want to fish first? Yeah, Why? We'll see, we'll see. Maybe seconds only, you cut. You can go at the same time. We can see, we can race to see who catches a fish. Yeah, let's do a race, huh? Maybe, a race to see maybe we can do a race. To, to see who catches the first fish? Yeah. Okay. You need a pole. Here. We're doing a race to see who catches a, f <laughs> to who catches a fish first. <laughs> I think they're more I think they're over there. I move, I move, I move. Where are you going? Here. Everybody's going over here. Where do you usually catch them? Over here? Yeah, over there. Maybe uh uh it's uh it's depend for you. Well, over there, over there. I'm gonna nibble. I'm gonna beat you. Ah, you oh. I <laughs> What? Yes. <laughs> She's so happy she just beat me. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> oh, uh, I will put back there. Yeah, because it's so very cute. It's so very cute. <laughs> Little Nemo. Yeah, I will put back. Put him back. Yeah. <laughs> you got a small one. That one's really small too. I'm gonna I'm gonna edit that out so no one knows. Wow, you're so bad. <laughs> Lose. <laughs> That's her wow. third fish. Yes. <laughs> wow. That one's a much bigger one. I got three. <laughs> oh my what? gosh. Alright, I'm coming to fish over here. You've got the good spot. How did you get three? I'm coming over there. Let's come here. Maybe if you come here, I cannot get now. I'm coming over there to get those fish. <laughs> you cheated. No. How? <laughs> I don't know. I got one. Oh, oh my, my god, it's so small. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not allowed. It's not counted, huh? That counts as one. It's not counted. <laughs> that's not my fault, but that, but you see how quickly oh, that that still that still counts as one that I got. It's not counted it, because it's a baby. It counts. Yeah, that counts. It's a fish. You didn't win because we return it again. Eh. <laughs> yeah, 
trying to get a worm too. I'm gonna get this big one right here. <laughs> I gotta set the camera down. Sorry. Did you just say sorry to the worm? <laughs> did you? No, no. I think you did. Let's see how many fish we got. Let's take a peek here. Got a few in there. Not a bad view. For a fishing hole. Okay, I think we're going to harvest rice. All right, we've got a bag full of fish. Only me, only me, and That's, Father of Yarayan. It's not true. It's not true. It's true. It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. I. I I, you cannot accept it. I caught so many fish, but the, the camera broke when when that happened. What? Yeah, I caught I caught all these fish, but the camera broke. <laughs> <laughs> so it changed. Huh? <laughs> you didn't see it. There was a malfunction. There was a problem with the camera, and you couldn't see it. But I, I caught about okay, ten or fifteen fish. Okay, but now we're going to harvest rice because. Do you want this to cook? With the uh, coconut milk. Whatever, this is whatever you guys want to do. I'm along for the ride. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. This is my water. Who lose? <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> I, you, you lost. That's who lost. Uh -huh. You lost. I didn't lose. We're not going to talk about that anymore. Let's talk about harvesting rice. We are off. To harvest rice now, right? Yes. Can I have a sip of water, Paliho? Salamat. Here, do you want to hold the camera? She doesn't look where she points the camera, by the way. <laughs> now I'm looking. Now you, you'll walk and just point the camera over at the ground. No, I didn't. She's never going to drop that. I'm always the winner. You won. You, okay, you won one string bean race. You caught a few fish. I won coconut <laughs> You climbed a coconut tree. I climbed this coconut tree too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll think of another competition. <laughs> what is this? A guava. Guava? Yes. Oh. Pero gibugi, man. <laughs> This one's been oh. eaten, right, by a lot of bugs or something <laughs> or a bird. No, it's not bird, huh? No, look, look at this one. The one above you. No, it's something not ate from that. the bird. <laughs> something ate it. Those of you who speak Visaya are at an advantage. You're going to be able to understand this whole video. What's this one? Pomelo. <laughs> Pomelo? Bisaya name is Buungon. Buungon? Yeah, Buungon. Buungon. Pomelo. Yeah, in Bisaya, Buungon. Lame kaayo. Mm. Delicious. Ayaba? Yeah, guaba. 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 <laughs> Bayaba. Bayaba. Bisaya. Bayaba in Bisaya. <laughs> All right, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. So which which rice fields are, are yours? These? Yeah, over there. Oh wow! Is there a specific season that's best for harvesting rice? Season? Yeah, like certain months. Yeah, yeah, no. See, uh, uh, so, uh October, uh, September to October. Okay. The harvest the rice. Okay. Those are the best seasons for it. Yeah, season only. So do you do do you do it every day? Every day. Yeah. Yes. Every day, if you have uh, the rice coming to become become yellow, okay, so it is a harvest. So I'm learning about harvesting the rice. I've never harvested rice before, so we're about to see what the the whole process is like and what the the yellow rice looks like when it's ready for harvest. September, October are the best times to do it. Right now we're in October, so it's the perfect time for harvesting. Perfect time to come visit here. And the perfect time to go fishing, apparently. 
Are you dancing? No, I'm not. You are. <laughs> You're just sitting there dancing to yourself. <laughs> are you going to take a picture of me? You're taking selfies. Instagram picture. Of me? Oh, no. Of me holding a camera? <laughs> this is just so peaceful. Look, we have... They have all of the these plants here on their own property, but even just off in the distance, you have these open fields. You can see them all around, and then a few a few houses, their relatives. The palay rice. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Vamos. 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 What did you say? How to say the like this? What? Nah. Farm? Farm? Boot. What did? What was the word you said? What you say in Spanish, ba? Finca? Huh? Maybe? Oh, starfruit. Yeah. I haven't had a starfruit in a long time. Starfruits are, they have a very mild flavor. We have some turkeys here. Some chickens. What'd you say? Cook a chicken? <laughs> Look at this field. Look where we are right now. <laughs> Anne is posing. <laughs> oh, this is super narrow here. So you've got this walkway at on the top, I don't know how well you can see, but we've got a drop off on both sides of this. So you can walk through, but you don't disturb the growth. You just walked across? She just fell. It's hard to walk on this, really. It's thin. It's narrow. Where did you walk? I just walked. Over there, you can walk over there. No, I just, I don't, I don't want to walk on the rice. Just. Hey. I don't know how well you can see, but it, there are holes all throughout here. And it's actually quite difficult to walk as you saw Anne just fell. It's super narrow. Oh, I didn't. Yes, you did. It's on camera. <laughs> it's on camera. <laughs> I didn't, huh? Okay, so this, this has already been harvested and this is what we're about to harvest right here. So you want to use this one, uh, lagarao or site or site? Maybe uh, the English is this one, site. Okay, yeah. Site, maybe English, site, you know? <laughs> yeah, this one, Lagarao. This one beside us is Lagarao. Lagarao? Yeah, Lagarao. They, they cut this one. Okay. Yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. This one. And then after, put this one because... Uh, because uh, if you want to put this one, you uh, you waste uh, this rice. You put in the like this, in the ground. And then and then when it's done, it's left like this, and it looks like this after it's been harvested. So you, you chop all of this by hand? Yeah, it's hand, yeah. And then after blower, the blower, the rice meal blower. Okay. To to clean the this one, the rice. Talk this along the one. How long would you say it would take to do all of this in this section right here? Uh, maybe half day. Half a day. Yeah, we have five person like that. Uh, so many people to help. For how far? How? Maybe uh, one, two, three, four over there. One, two, three, three four. four five, no. And five. So maybe this field half day, maybe half day. Just a half day. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. So how many? How many? How many hours do you think? Maybe six or like that. Okay, so six hours. You could, if yeah. you had a few people, you could do this yeah. section here. Wow. Okay, so let's see. Let's see your harvesting skills, Anne. What do you can you say that as in, in English? I mean ba uh, planting the rice. Uh, how maybe long? starting February like that. Okay. February and maybe five months like that. Five so, months ready to harvest? Uh, yeah, ready to harvest. Okay, you plant and usually in February and it's ready to harvest in five months later? Yeah. Okay. All right, and for the camera, let's see, let's see your harvesting skills. <laughs> <laughs> Don't threaten me with your, your new weapon. Okay, 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 okay. We shouldn't give her a weapon okay, like this. Careful because the hands will cut them. Huh? 
Yeah, careful, sharp. Careful. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because this is sharp. <laughs> Just scrub. Just scrub and then cut in the like that. Oi, maayo ka ayo. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Maayo ka ayo. Ay. <laughs> Flowers. Uh, if you get uh, uh, if you harvest the rice, better wearing the jacket. Yeah. Hats because very itchy. Yeah, yeah. I can already feel it on the on the legs there. Like that from right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like that? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. And that's how you harvest <laughs> rice in the Philippines. How many people do you usually have out here doing this? Depend. Uh, maybe uh, like that four, five, six. Uh, it depends if you have somebody to help. Do you have, oh, so it's usually your, your family and then yeah, you have... Yeah, family, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so do you, do you pay friends or, or other workers or? Only the uh, pay rice. You, only only uh, they give rice. This one, only this one to pay the rice after the harvest. Oh, they, they keep the rice that yeah, they yeah, harvest. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Not money. Only Instead of money, they give rice. Instead of money, they give rice. Oh, okay. Yeah, rice is, I've heard rice is, is kind of like money sometimes. Like you, you could use it to trade maybe sometimes? Yeah, uh, sometimes like that. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, this is awesome. This is the full experience. What are you pointing at? No. This is, this is the yeah so so do you flood this so this is filled with water right so yeah yeah uh, integrated a canal yeah so yeah exactly so you can see that's the water down there and then this is separated here so you can walk here and then water over there uh, sometimes only the waiting the rain uh -huh. we have the um, we have the water in the rice waiting there only we have sometimes we have bug typhoon Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So it's good here when they uh, when they are a typhoon. It's good for them. Uh, not too much wind. Uh, not too much. Yeah. Uh, only a little bit. Now. You just want the rain mm, yeah. to flood the. The flood the, the rice maybe. Yeah. The rice. So that's why you plant it in February because the rainy seasons come after yeah, that. Too, yeah. Okay. Only season to getting the rice, uh, getting the become become yellow. Mm -hmm. Maybe I start here. <laughs> you almost fall? <laughs> but just look at this scenery. Rice terraces are always the most beautiful scenery around. And you've got chocolate, oh, those are chocolate hills over there. What? Uh, the chocolate hills? Chocolate hills, yeah, chocolate hills. Yeah, some of them over there, yeah. Because do you know how many chocolate hills there are? Hundreds? I forgot. You yeah, forgot? Hundreds. It's a lot, yeah, hundreds. Hundreds, yeah. Yeah. So that's this whole area in Carmen. So if you have the opportunity, Carmen is, it's more than just the Chocolate Hills, as you can see. It's the whole area is super green and filled with rice terraces. It's beautiful. I'm, I'm really bummed out that my drone is broken right now and I can't get these shots for you. But still, even without the aerial view of the drone shot, this is... Beautiful, incredible. You've got some rice farmers over here harvesting. The neighbors, maybe. <laughs> but look at this. What's this here? This one? Yeah. The plastic? Yeah. Um, for the bugs? Yeah, for the bug. And also, we have something put the chemical. Okay. Yeah. Keeps, for the insect. Yeah, to keep them off the rice? Yeah, yeah. So. Are you are you asking how how many sacks this would make? Yeah. Okay. If they do the rice meal. Uh, only this one, maybe uh, three sacks like this. Only this one. Uh, only, uh, only area. Only this area is three sacks. That's about three sacks. Okay. Yeah. Three sacks three and sacks two or three sack. like that. Two or three. And you said one sack is like forty kilos. Mm hmm. Forty okay. kilos. Okay. Wow. Last day we have uh, uh, already harvest. Okay, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. You harvested a lot? Yeah. Okay. Harvest and also the blower. Oh, okay. Finished already last yesterday. What all did you do yesterday? This? Over there. Over there? Yeah. So what, how much of this is yours? Only this one. This one here? Yeah, only this one. Okay, and those are your neighbors up no, there? Yeah, uh, my neighbor. This one, not too much far. That's a lot though. That's a lot. Not too much, but it's okay. We still have rice. It's a lot of rice. <laughs> Wait, the water. Oi. Oi, water. Oi. The most. Huh? My favorite Filipino word is oi. 
Oi. <laughs> Perron. Perron you said we're going to the rice mill, so what, what do you do there? Clean the rice to, uh, to become a rice. Okay, so you clean it there? Uh, yeah, clean the rice. Okay. So just down the road here, there's uh, a rice mill and they bring the sacks of the rice that you see here in these buckets down to the rice mill for cleaning and keeps tripping on things. <laughs> this is the finished product of the rice. Clean up this one after harvest. This one is clean. Oh. Oh wow. This one clean already. Okay. So you already brought that into town and, and cleaned it. Yeah, in in the in the rice mill in the blower mm -hmm. to get the to get the clean and to get the good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After this one to blower, put in the sun. Put in the sun after put the this they one. Use that. Sun. And then they after the the rice is uh, I didn't need to make it like dry. Dry the uh, rice. Okay, you dry the rice dry in the sun. In the sun. Yeah. And then go in the rice milk, become this one. And so after clean already. Dry, they are going to oh. again. So that's your finished product. Yeah, finished product. Oh wow. So this is the this is from yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then this is from earlier? Yeah, this is finished 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 product. Here. Okay, we just go look at it. Is it's close? Near nearby? Open, open, open. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Near? Uh, yeah, you can ride a motorbike. Okay. Yeah. I need to understand what they're saying. You all understand. I Not you, all of you. said he can drive. I And then I am the back ride. Okay, I'll drive too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah two bikes. Two or three bikes. I'm, I'm, we're not even. Uh, uh, so we can use one bike? That's, that's three people on one, but I'll drive too. I can drive. Yeah. In the, in the, in the rice mill to, to clean the rice. Okay, so we go we go look at the rice mill? Mm. Okay, cool. Yeah, we can definitely do that. We have arrived here in the town. It's a motor, motorbike shop right here. They have a lot of bikes. Okay, after the, the rice mill to become a weight, this one? Mm -hmm. Oh, you weigh it? Yeah, okay. you weigh it, yeah. Oh, so this one's finished here. Yeah, finished. Please. Kamusta? Ready, ready for uh, <laughs> Ready to sell? Uh, no. Uh, ready to get the clean, clean rice. Right. <laughs> oh, put in the machine. Yeah, you yeah. you weigh it first. Uh, yeah, weigh first. Weigh first. Maybe yeah. this one is thirty plus or forty like that. Okay, you thirty or forty kilos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you put it in the machine over here. So ready for milling, mill, mill. Ready for the mill. Yeah. Okay, all right, that one's ready for the mill. All right, salamat. Okay. <laughs> salamat. Salamat. All right, so 30 or 40 kilos on his head here. Salamat lagi. Salamat. 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 Thank you. This is the cleaning process. see it come out what it looks like so this is what it is here it's dark brown and not yet clean and when it comes out you see the difference there that's the rice that we get yeah there's a big difference in the the dark brown rice up there that's dirty once it goes through
and chicken feet. Salama <laughs> Gayo. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, we'll bring you, drop you back off at your house first. Okay. All right. So yeah, we're gonna go drop him off, and then he's he's got a bus to catch. So we've got a change of plans. No, we're not gonna ride the carabao or cook the fish and the rice today for this time. Ryan has to go, he's gotta go meet his wife, he's gotta catch a bus. I actually have never made a video from the top of the Chocolate Hills, believe it or not, after living a year in Bahol. So since the Chocolate Hills are all around us, we're gonna go climb those real quick. So for the Chocolate Hills, you don't drive directly up. You come over here to a parking lot if you got a car here, motorbike on the other side, and then we buy an entrance fee Adult 100 pesos, children 50. Okay, 100 per person. Shuttle here. Chocolate Hills there. Oh, AC. Oh, it's very cold in here. Feels good. I've never seen these before. I've, I mean, I've seen them from the ground and from the drone, but. Now you see them. You can already see them coming up the, the ride up. Lama. Hello. Good afternoon. Oh yes. Salamapo. Oh. I don't know how I've been in the hole this long and never seen these. You can see them off in the distance. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Ate. How many times have you been here? Uh, like three. Three? I've never been here. Now it's four times. You can see them off in the distance. They're not, see, I like them better when they're green because in, in a different season, they're brown and that's how they got the name Chocolate Hills, right? Because yeah. they look like chocolate Hershey Kisses. But I like them when they're green. I think they look better. So you've got these stairs to go up first. You can take a break right here. But there's a ton of them. These are super close right there. That's crazy. They look so bizarre, so out of place, so unnatural. It's really cool. Up, up, up. Are you racing? Are you running? I'm not really flying. Look, the stairs are very close together. Yeah. It's kind of awkward walking over. Yeah, I take two at a time. It's kind of awkward. I won. No. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't fair. They were in my way. <laughs> wow. They're massive over here. I see him. Oh, we've got more over here, too. <laughs> it's just a beautiful view in general. All of the, the coconut trees that you see. And down there, that's, I think you can ride ATVs. But it's just super green. Got a few chocolate hills over here, but these are the ones that are the closest over on this side. So this is your best angle, your best view over here, especially right here. So let's go down there. You have a bell in case you wanna you wanna ring something. These are massive. This one especially right here. It's so bizarre. It's like Dr. Seuss. That's definitely the best way to describe it. It's just like Dr. Seuss. Doesn't look like a real natural landscape. Like if you saw this in a, in a painting, you wouldn't think it's real. I mean, of course, you're gonna have uh, a number of people here taking photos, but it's not, it's not like super crowded. I mean, it, it kind of is, but it's not too bad. You can still get your pictures. Get your pictures. I lost Anne. I don't know where she went. What is she doing? Wishing well. What is that? No. No, thank you. I just drink water. The coconut water. I bet if you come here at sunset, that's probably a great time to come. We're close to sunset. It's about 3.30 right now. Sunset might be in an hour, hour and a half from now. I'm not sure. Looks like Jurassic Park down here. Very jungly. But this is, and there's a road that goes in there. You might be able to drive down that. It's good. It's good. 
<laughs> All right, so we'll end it here at the Chocolate Hills. We ran out of time today, so we couldn't do the carabao or eat the fish or the rice that we harvested today, but we'll have to do that next time. Either way, I still wanted to go see the rice experience, show you guys what that's like, and see the Chocolate Hills. Do you have anything you want to say? I want to say thank you. <laughs> She's running away. She does. I told you she's she's camera shy in a way. <laughs> Even though she's in the video, she just doesn't talk to the camera. Thank you for what? I mean, thank you for watching Travelscape and thank you for. <laughs> she. <laughs> See, many of you ask if she has a channel or something. This is why she doesn't have her own channel. No, <laughs> she she doesn't talk to her camera. Even though she's awesome on camera, she doesn't talk to the camera. So here's another video with Ann in it and here's another video without Ann in it. <laughs> She's not going to be in every video but she might be in some of them. Goodbye. Ayo ayo. Ayo ayo, I'm ping. I'm ping. I'm ping. <laughs>